Welcome to another beautiful spring day here in West Central Wisconsin. That's right, we've had rain, now we have snow. And last weekend I was down on the farm for Easter and I brought something back with me that needs to go to the wood yard, but the road is all mud. And so I brought the tractor up here. I'm gonna unload what's in the back here. Do you have any guesses what it might be? Oh, it's something that I want to get as much of as I can and I don't get very often. If you remember back a few videos ago, I had some of it and now I have some more. Voila! That's right, cherry firewood. So kind of an interesting and funny story on why this tree was taken down and why all of this is already bucked up in two rounds. But let me get this unloaded and then I will fill you in on all the details. So my brother and his friend that deer hunt uh, down on the farm, they were clearing some trees around some of their uh, tree stands, uh, clearing out some stuff. And my, my dad, Woodhound Senior, had told them about a standing dead tree uh, that he wanted, take it, he wanted taken down. So they went back to the back 40 to take this tree down and they accidentally took down the wrong tree. And that wrong tree is the one that's in my truck right now. So they cut down this green cherry tree, uh, kind of, I guess, by mistake, on accident. And then, not only did they cut it down, they also bucked it up into rounds. So because I want to use this for mini firewood, uh, at first I was like, oh, dang it. Now I won't be able to use the Yappa to uh, cut this down into, you know, the five, five inch pieces. But I can't complain. Beggars can't be choosers, especially when it comes to fresh green, or fresh cherry firewood. And the only reason I emphasize green is because uh, cherry, once it's dead and standing dead, the ants get after it real quick and it just starts to uh, kind of rot out from the inside. So I was happy to get the cherry, but I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna have to now figure out a different approach in processing this down into mini firewood. So there's the reason why I didn't want to drive the truck back to the wood yard. I got this one little spot here that just gets all soft and muddy in the spring uh, because it's shaded from the woodshed here so the sun never really hits it. But man, it is a mess. So yes, I would have preferred that this cherry tree that was accidentally cut down, it would have been nice to have it in like five foot sections, kind of like what I did with the last one that I brought up here so that I could run it through the Yappa to uh, measure out those five inch cuts consistently and have the same you know, length cuts on all the little pieces of mini firewood. But as I mentioned, can't complain, especially with cherry because I hardly ever get any of it. Um, so my idea, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna try to do is to, I don't wanna try to take a round like this and cut it with like the chainsaw. I just think that'd be a lot of futzing around, uh, holding it in place and you know, whatever. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna try to split off the edges and get just the core uh, pieces of cherry here you know, if I, take the, if I take the edges off, I should be able to get a nice square chunk in the middle and then I can take that, split it down so it's the right thickness. And then what I'll do is I'll just use uh, the bandsaw and just cut my pieces to five inches. But some of these pieces may or may not provide, uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I gotta check. I want to test a few 
do a few splits to see how much I'm actually wasting of the wood by just trying to take the bark off. Uh, I suppose I could leave the bark on, but I would rather not. I'll take a couple pieces, split them, and see how much is left with just the bark, with the bark pieces. I mean, that stuff I can just use in bundles or whatever. I'll be able to sell that, no problem. I just don't like having the bark on the splits of mini firewood. And there we go. Look at that beautiful stack of future Back 40 Mini Cherry Firewood. Oh, God, that stuff is, it just looks nice and man, does it smell good. Just great stuff. But I will say, like I mentioned earlier, I don't know what it is about cherry, but you can see, I think that tree was actually dead. A few of the pieces uh, did have like this dry, rot started on the inside and that is exactly what I want to avoid. So yeah, this tree may have been dead or at least dying because there were a few pieces um, that this inner core was already like starting to rot away. So unfortunately, like this piece right here, I'm going to have to probably split that in half and only half of that will be good. I did make a bit of a mess, but maybe that will 
make this weather change and allow me to do some spring cleaning. So another crappy day here in the wood yard as far as the weather goes, but it was a excellent day to split up some of this cherry firewood. Huh, that stuff, like I said, it's just, ah, it just smells great. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow night on the Friday night live live stream. I was hoping, and there's still a chance because the forecast, although it might not look like it, the forecast for Friday is actually in the upper 50s. And so if it's warm enough, we might be able to have the first Friday night live live stream outside with the fire pit going at the Tiki Bar and yes, a tabletop fire pit going with some back 40 mini firewood in it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.